All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to day two with this Esper Super Friends list. Uh, interesting kind of take on a control deck. Not necessarily my favorite, but uh, we did at least win one game fairly. Uh, we definitely misplayed on the last game yesterday. Uh, and then the first game obviously was a bit of a wash. So we're going to give this a day two uh, and see how it goes. If you did not get the, uh, or if you did not watch the first uh, episode of this, I highly suggest doing that. Uh, we kind of do a rundown of the deck just to give you an idea of what's in it. Uh, the My thought process with this, uh, if you don't know, uh, we do... This is an interesting hand. I kind of want to keep it, though. I'm going to try this. I don't know if this is right, though. Um, probably not. Uh, but anyway, so my, my thought with this is that uh, something I'd really like to do, which I haven't done in quite a while... Uh, is start posting articles again. So if you don't know, we do have a website. Uh, it resolves mtg.com. Uh, so feel free to visit that. We do post, or, or we have posted articles, but we also have our full proxy gallery, that kind of thing, uh, up there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that. Um, and so you can check out all the proxies there, that kind of thing, uh, and also get those articles as we start posting them more often. So what I'd love to do is... Uh, start posting more uh, about the decks that we actually play. So give kind of a rundown of the deck, why we like it, why we don't like it, uh, certain things like that, and, and just see what we can do. So uh, that is something that I am playing around with. I do have an article started for, for this deck, so I'm hoping to get that up. Um, oh, interesting. I think we just take Domri. Um, no, we do not need more land. Uh, so... Uh, definitely check that out if you haven't already. Also, a uh, really quick thing, uh, you notice down below me, uh, you see some of our proxies actually rotating there. Uh, if you're interested in picking any of those up, today is the last day uh, to pick up those specific proxies. Uh, that is the only time that they will be available. We will have extra, so uh, the only thing, if you would like to pick them up after the fact... Uh, we do have a tier level on Patreon for that, uh, and our Patreon link is down below as well, so you can check that out. I highly suggest picking them up when you want them, though. Uh, it's a little bit more efficient, uh, and so um, we certainly aren't trying to money grab anybody, but it is cheaper if you do it uh, early on. Uh, so just a heads up, uh, we certainly encourage you to check that out, uh, and we'd certainly appreciate the support, too. We, we've uh, gotten a lot of great support from our patrons and uh, certainly encourage everybody to, to check it out. So, um, what do we want here? Uh, I think we just want the Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Uh, Teferi's good, but against these creature-heavy decks, a lot of times you just kind of bounce and then die. Uh, Teferi dies, specifically. Not great, uh, so I don't, don't love that. Oh, and that's perfect. A great target for Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Both coming at us. Makes sense. Oh, duh. Yeah. Questing Beast is just so, so good. Um, we will Temple of Enlightenment here. I mean, yeah. I guess we keep it. That just means though, that we're not going to be able to play some of our stuff on time. I think here we pass. I this is a tricky situation. Um, I think we just lose though, right? Because they just bone crusher once, bone crusher twice. I think we just lose here. And if we don't lose, we're certainly in a bad position. <clears throat> okay, well they got a little greedy, so that's actually quite good for us. <clears throat> what do we need though well we need a lot to actually save us here though i there's no way we can actually win right so we still go down to two here yeah so we oath of kaya we do gain three off of this but then they just bone crusher us We get the castle out so we can Elspeth Conqueror's death if they misplay, but I think we've just lost this. Uh, don't really know that we misplayed so much as we just didn't have great options here. I assume they just go for the Bone Crusher. <laughs> I 
Yep. Yeah, good game on their end. I don't think there's anything we could have actually done on that, um, unfortunately. So we will jump to game two. Uh, so one thing that I will kind of talk about in the article a little bit. Uh, so if you again, if you want to read it, uh, please do. But uh, one thing I'm going to talk about in there is how this feels in comparison to other control decks. Uh, in, in, in specifically uh, Azorius Control, which is very much the, the front runner in terms of, in my opinion at least, the best of the control decks right now. Um, this is a interesting hand. Doesn't do a ton, uh, but we do have Teferi to help us draw some stuff. It's just really slow. Um, so one thing I'm going to talk about is that this deck does feel quite slow in comparison to the Azorius control decks, and it doesn't feel as good. Um, it does have a lot more like heavy hitters, so Liliana in, in particular being one of them, uh, which is really, really good. And like Teferi and Narset, great shutdowns for other control decks, but in general, it's not a very... I don't think I should keep this, but I am going to try it. Um, in general, it's not a very uh, great control deck in my opinion uh certainly you know there are i guess we just go ahead and play the vantress here um certainly it has some good matchups but a lot of times what you find is like against these gruel decks for or excuse me these adventure decks for instance um you you kind of just die you don't have a ton to do <laughs> um it's a little unfortunate um now that's not always the case, obviously. Uh, in other control decks, the the problem I run into is that they just have better control magic, and so they just kind of counter your good stuff. And then it's like, okay, well, not much I can do. And especially with like things like Dovin's Veto and Mystical Dispute, like if they get a well timed Mystical Dispute, uh, there's nothing you can do. And then a well timed, of course, uh, Dovin's Veto, and there's literally nothing you can do. Uh, and so it just it just doesn't feel great. Uh, and this is another situation that doesn't feel amazing. Um, I'm going to return one of these. Uh, yes, I know they'll swing back in. That's fine. We need to hit blue mana, which we did. So that's good. Um, but in this situation, I'm just worried about them kind of overrunning us, which they often do. Uh, I did jump back into some ranked play, so I did play with this this deck off camera uh, just for a little while to get, get kind of a better handle on it. Uh, try not to try to learn my way around the misplays in particular, and it did help a little bit. I did learn a good bit, but uh, it's still certainly not what I would like it to be. Um, that being said, though, it's fine. Uh, I did jump in with the Rakdos Knights deck uh, that I played quite a while back. That deck is sweet. I love that deck. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn, they could very easily, uh, Beanstalk Giant. I think what we need to do here, though, is keep digging. Uh, debating on leaving up Thassa's Intervention. I'm not going to do that this time. I want to draw their attack if that's what they want to do. Uh, I think we just want Dovin's Veto. I mean, they're going to know about it, which kind of sucks, but. Okay, yeah. That is a good one. Lucky Clover, doing the most. Um, we're just trying to dig for, like, a shatter, though. Uh. We just really need a way to deal with the board because uh, they're just going to keep building this out. Um, and this is the problem, right? Like you get in these situations where you just draw these like, you know, Dream Trawler, great card. It's not doing anything here. Uh, Liliana is a dead card in our hand as well. Like there's a lot of those. And so it would be great to have kind of a, a better handle on the game, we'll say. I don't think we've got a great play here. I'm going to bounce the clover. Uh, 
I'll just play a hollow phone out here. But we're in bad shape. They're going to do tons and tons of damage to us. So I think we definitely lost, unless we can get to a shatter, which arguably we could have played uh, Narset first, and maybe that would have been better. I don't know. Uh, could have Dovin's vetoed that, but I'd kind of rather hit the Clover. Maybe that's playing too much to the long game, though, since they are going to just kind of annihilate us. <laughs> Down to two. Feeling really bad. Um, <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, there's the shatter a turn late. Um, yep. All right. We will go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, they got that one too. So we are 0-2, feeling bad. Uh, we'll go for game three. Hopefully we can at least get one win. Uh, definitely would suggest if you are looking to play a control deck, this is probably not the deck for you. Uh, I think it's okay. I mean, I I do enjoy it. It's, it's fun when you can get a lot of those Planeswalkers out. They've got a lot of really cool synergy, especially with Liliana in particular, uh, and a lot of like token generators like Ugin, uh, Ashiok, You've got the castle uh, Arden Vale as well to kind of help you pump out some of those tokens, but in general, it just doesn't feel like it's it's where it needs to be. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't think that this is the the optimal deck by any means. I do like there's a a couple Esper lists out there, uh, specifically the Doom Foretold deck, which I actually think is quite sweet. Um, but I don't know either if that one's like amazing or not. Do we keep Double Shatter? I kind of think we do. Excuse me. Um, there's just so many, like, you know, random creature decks. I'd kind of like to keep a second one. We're against the Gates deck. Okay. Well. We'll just play this out and let them do their thing. This is going to be an interesting game. I don't think I've been up against a Gates deck with uh, this specific list. Um... I found that if you can go fast enough, this deck just does nothing, um, which is kind of nice. But obviously, that's not always the case. Um, we'll get Narset down, uh, keep them from drawing extra cards, and we'll take to Fairy. Narset, very, very good in my opinion against this deck uh, because they do have a lot of card draw. So, like, here, they will not be able to draw a card. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the Gates deck. Maybe this is just a Simic deck and they're running Guild Gates. That's interesting. Um, still very good. Narset, very good against Uro. So, happy I played that out. What do we need? We need just a land, right? Yeah. Any land would help us tremendously. We do have Teferi as backup, so not a huge issue, but certainly would be uh, beneficial. Uh, that was a mistake. I should have Narset first. That's okay. Let's do this for zero. Just to draw. Wow, triple shatter. Um, Interesting. Uh, actually, I think we take Erebos' intervention. Um, we do have to discard a card here. I think we'll discard a Shatter. Uh, we've got multiple, so not a huge issue. But Erebos' intervention is great. Uh, it's going to get rid of this Uro. The problem we're running into is just we don't have lands. Um, so I'm hoping that we, we can draw some. That would be great. Uh, we could Elite Guard Mage if we do draw a land, which I do think is a solid pick. Um, wow, that's really annoying. Um, hmm. Well, we do play out this. Do I care about that? Plus...
Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and end. They're going to be able to take uh, probably Narset out, if I had to guess. That was a wrong. I should have. Uh, definitely should have put that on the bottom, but that's okay. I was thinking taking stuff out of their hand, which does still sound good, but like, obviously, we just need land, so. What I'm going to do here. Just gonna go ahead and exile their graveyard. They may have a counter here. Uh, they are Simic, so that is kind of a worry. Okay, they did not counter it. My assumption is they do have a counter. Let's try and run this out. If they do have a counter, they'll probably just counter this. Um, I don't want to waste a shatter because they could just counter the shatter. <laughs> wow, we have drawn all four shatters. Uh, that's interesting. And yes, I will absolutely jump block here. Keep them from drawing extra stuff. That's just uh, kind of crucial for us. Oh, duh. Trample. <laughs> Should not have blocked. Sorry, guys. Misplaying, misplaying, misplaying. Land is nice. I think we just try anything other than a land to the bottom here. So my question is, I think we just thought erasure here. If we take four, that's fine. Uh, try and get them to commit a little bit more. <clears throat> nope. So I'm gonna do this here. Oops. This will either burn a counter or we get to pick the card. So uh, I think I'd much rather do this now uh, before shattering. If I take four, I take four. That's fine. Yep. Interesting. So that would have gotten around Narset. That's kind of cool. Depending on what they do here. Okay, that's fine. What might be a good idea is to Ashiok bounce Krasis, uh, make them discard a card from their hand. That's an option. Um, Uh, solely because they can't kill Ashiok on the return. They may have a counter, though. That's kind of the worry. Good we drew a land there. Just going to get us to Liliana pretty quick. We kind of don't... I mean, that just seems bad, though. Maybe we just shatter. I'm going to keep that land on top. Yeah, let's just shatter here. They got a counter, they're gonna have to counter it. Nope, okay. 
I'd rather them only draw one card and then not be able to replay the Krasis. Uh We can always just, you know, throw Ashiok down this turn. Um, or Liliana, depending on what they do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Certainly a good card. It would be so, yes. Good, good. Let them do that, then I get to Liliana, make them sack both. That's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Oops. So they get Thassa's, no. Yeah, is it just Thassa's intervention? Yeah. And they may choose not to do that, honestly. Oh, they just put her back. Okay. I mean, they definitely have a full grip of cards here. Um, wow. Well, that's going to take care of Liliana. Man, that sucks. Man. Good comeback with Nyssa. May have mystical dispute, I suppose. Or really any counter. Maybe we should have Oath of Kaiad first. Thassa's intervention doesn't quite get us necessarily, but definitely does some work. Go ahead and do this. I'm going to get rid of this, that way um, they've only got one creature attacking in. Uh, they may... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Still happens, so that's okay. Return to nature. Interesting. Thought erasure. Probably just shatter here. What are they for? That leaves us. Yeah. I don't really know what I care more about. I guess this. Put that on the bottom. So they will get to play Uro. 
uh, which is obviously not amazing, but do we? No, we don't. Uh, so I was debating on bouncing this, uh, making them exile a card. That seems like a very bad play. Uh, the reason being we'd be left at three. So they play Nissa, they, you know, untap, and then they're good to go. Uh, so I certainly don't want to do that. Rather than just go ahead and go for this, uh, and then we'll, we'll see what they can do. Don't necessarily think we're in a great position, I will say that. Uh, so, this also does allow us to alt if we would like. Which what we get Cavalier Uro. Maybe not Uro. Two Cavaliers and like a we'll see. It's a Nissa. That's quite good. So let's see, we shatter Alt Ashiok. Do we need to shatter? Yeah, I think we do. Shatter, we ult Ashiok, we get to we get to untap a land and then attack into Nyssa. I think that's just way too good, right? <clears throat> yeah. I guess they get to draw a card here, but meh. Didn't think I'd get to ult Ashiok. That's pretty sweet. So we want this. We want that. I think just that. Get castle. That way we can keep drawing cards. That's great. Interesting, interesting game. I can enter tapped. That's fine. Did lose a dream trawler there. That kind of sucks, but. This is going to get this Nissa out of ultimate range, which is awesome. Uh, wonder if these die, what happens? How does that work with them? Yeah, that makes sense. So 
So we do get to draw a card here too, if we would like. Do they have a response? They do. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's not great, but like, no, it's whatever. So, now we can either spit out a token or draw. Um, I think it'd be better to draw, personally. That's bad because it fills their graveyard. So they will get to play our row. Hmm. Interesting game. Very, very interesting. This has been a fun one, though. I will say that. Yep, yep. Hmm. Let's draw a card here. I think that's more useful than uh, getting a 1-1 one -one on this board. Oh, that's super not helpful. Um, hmm. Here, I think we just kind of do nothing. Um, so we can't really attack in efficiently. They just get to, to trade off with a lot of our stuff here. Uh, or excuse me, just demolish a lot of our stuff. Um, this, we now have counter backup, which is great, uh, with quite a lot of mana open. And then if nothing happens, we either use the Thassa's Intervention to, to draw what we need to draw, or we obviously have either of the two castles. So... Um, I think we've got some options here. Yep. This has been a really good game. Um, holding our own against this deck, though I don't know. They're certainly in a better position in terms of life total, and they have the more powerful, like, turn by turn haymakers uh, at this point. No, I will not counter that. <laughs> What's the last card? Yep. How many cards in graveyard? Three. Okay. So they could very easily start swinging in if they wanted to, uh, to entice us to kind of trade off and fill their graveyard. And then if we do kill Uro, they they don't care. Um, obviously they could just hold back as well. Um. Uh, Cavalier is a, a tricky one. Mm -hmm. They've only got 18 cards left in their deck. That's interesting. It's in their graveyard. Not a lot. But we can't let them have incongruity. Okay. So we don't want to kill the Cavalier. But 
In this instance, I think I'm okay with killing that Uro if we can. Yeah. Hmm. So oh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So if we do four. I'm thinking we can draw also, by the way. That's why I'm saying let's do four. Okay, yeah. We'll go ahead and draw then. I'm kind of glad I left that man up because uh, that would have just been a hard counter there with, with nothing uh, in particular coming out of it. So at least we get to still draw a card here. <laughs> Not a very helpful card. Wow, okay. Um... I'm gonna draw here because uh, we do have options to play. Like if we draw a dream trawler, for instance, like we just play it out here. I believe we still have one left in the deck. It's a fairy, okay. Well, that's certainly something. Maybe we bounce Cavalier. So they eat through more of their deck. That does fill their graveyard, I suppose, for Uro, but um, it slows down their stuff significantly, which is quite good. It does allow us... Nah, I don't think we attack still. Oh, well, that's quite good. Perfect. <laughs> that kind of worked out. This is such a grindy game. Put that in the graveyard. We certainly don't want it. And so, like, we can swing in and kill Nissa. Not kill, excuse me. Um, entice them to block, we'll say. They get to swing back and kill to Fairy. That also fills their graveyard, which they need one more card to do. They're going to do it anyway, though. Let's do this. Um, they may just block with the Leafkin and the uh, Grazer here, but at least it you know, gets stuff off the field here. They have Vigilance, so it doesn't matter. It does fill their graveyard, of course, but that's okay. Anything they can do to draw their deck out, like, by all means. Uh, I didn't attack with Cavalier because I didn't want them to double block it. Um, 
I think that's our strongest, you know, that that's just our strongest creature at the moment. So I'd much rather keep that around. And it was, I think if we were to attack with it, it would most assuredly die. Uh, I don't think there's a way to avoid that. Double arrowing. Sure. They got a lot of life to chug through, that's for sure. And we certainly don't have it done. Also, this is kind of keeping these at bay. At least enough that we can, you know, uh, get somewhere with it. Okay, well, never mind. second let's do this oh my goodness <laughs> uh, it feels terrible okay well let's untap watery grave here man getting very unlucky draws at this point um we do still have castle arden veil up so we'll certainly you know block something here but I don't really care, by the way. Well, I do care if they... It's not great for us. Kind of just trading punches, though. Spit out a token. Not super helpful. Scry, let's see what we can get on top. Uh, obviously, we're going to get rid of any land that we see. We just need kind of a big bomb at this point. Man, we are just getting so unlucky with the lands here. Um, before we shuffle, let's do this. <clears throat> I do think I um indestructible our lands here. Hmm. Sorry, we're getting a little bit of lag here too. I don't know why. Could have stopped on upkeep, I suppose. Getting a lot of lag. Wonder why that is. <laughs> okay. Huh. Yeah, we'll keep Ugin. Man, this is an interesting game. Um.
I mean, they've got indestructible, crazy good stuff, which is awesome. Literally attacked with everything. That's interesting. Sorry for the lag here, guys. It's quite bad. Oh, definitely meant to uh, spit out a token there. Oops. Ooh, this lag is terrible. Well, okay, it makes no sense to do that. So let's do this. One block there. Yeah, okay. We lose Nissa no matter what, so. I uh, could have avoided that probably with blocking better. I, I'm really cons I kind of think that this might get down to like decking the opponent. <laughs> Um, kind of crazy to think that, but. <clears throat> we'll spit out a token here. I mean, they just keep drawing, which is great. Draw your deck, go for it. I suppose it would have been better not to have uh, done the token quite yet. We could have waited till the end of the turn, but I think at this point, yeah, it didn't matter anyway. I take that back. It's it still could matter, but we'll see. Uh, man, this is an interesting game. I'm surprised our deck is holding its own, though. I will say, stealing that Nissa definitely did a lot. Ulting Ashiok. How sweet is that? Uh, obviously, you kind of expect to just win off of that, uh, and I'm kind of sad we didn't, but given the, the board state and everything, I don't think that's surprising, we'll say. Um... Man, this lag is god awful. I'm just going to take care of Nissa here. Stop them from generating tokens, uh, I think, is essential at the moment. It's fine if it enters tapped. No attacks. All right. Well, we took care of Nissa, which was problem numero uno. Uh, they still have Uro, which is not good for us, but uh, it's also not like the worst thing in the world. Um, Honestly, these like indestructible lands are much more of a problem, um, but that's okay. They did scry this to the top, whatever it is. Just go ahead and counter it. 
not interested in losing one of our indestructibles here. Uh, they give us the best blocks, obviously. So uh, They did make us use our mana, which does mean that they can probably take Ugin out here. Uh, I guess or to Fairy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're all just coming at me. Huh. Okay. I guess they are just trying to kind of finish the game off at this point. Okay, well, I'm going to kill that. I think we're in the mode of like save ourselves as much damage as possible, right? We're gonna lose our 3-3 three, three and our 1-1. One, one. We trade the 1-1 one, one for the Risen Reef, which is good. Um, and then... Hmm. Ugh, just drawing so many lands. Go ahead and do this. I'm kind of thinking we bounce the Uro here. It makes them, one, replay it to draw a card. The other option, I guess, is to get rid of one of these, but yeah. I'm gonna do this here. Again, we could just draw like a dream trawler or something, which would really, really help. This has been such a grindy game. This is insane. Oath of Kaya. I mean, we play it out. Uh, it's not amazing. Just steal it straight to them. I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we do have a blank card in hand, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm impatient. Okay. For as quick as the first two games went, I'm amazed at uh, how this one is going. So they can replay our row, which is fine. That's not good. That kind of sucks. Uh, we do have enough blocks at that. Uh, well, actually, yeah, we do have enough blocks at this point, but um, that's certainly going to get worse for us. I'm essentially just betting them to play our row. I'm like, hey, do it. Draw your card, by all means. <laughs> just block everything. Goodness, this lag is just terrible. I'm so sorry, guys. I hope this doesn't uh, make it too terrible for you. Uh, 
That's nice. Just have a million token generators out. Sure. That's fine. I don't really care too much about that. Um, here we can bounce the Nessa with uh, Ashiok if we would like. And then, you know, we're in decent shape. Let's do this first. See what we get. Elspeth conquers death. Okay. It's not a bad one. So that begs the question, do we just bounce one of the tokens? Um, eh. I honestly don't know. I don't think so. Right? Maybe we do. So the Elspeth conquers death is going to go to our hand next turn. That's why I'm saying that. Um, No, I think we do this uh, so we can get rid of more cards off the top of their deck. And we will pass here to leave up Thassa's intervention that we do have, obviously, Castle Ardenvale available to us. One top, one bottom. Okay. They've got a million mana, so there's probably no reason to toss his intervention, but that's okay. Let's not miss the Castle Ardenvale trigger, though. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that now. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So the problem they're going to be in is if they do attack, which is fine by us, one, we're going to get an Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Two, we're going to exile the top two cards of their deck. They've only got four cards left. They could replay Uro here. That's fine. They can have as much life as they want. We're not on the life game anymore. We're on 100%. They've got four cards left. We just need to get rid of those four cards um, in any way that we possibly can. We can toss his intervention for one just so we can draw a card, essentially. Wow, 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 wow. Well, that changes things. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. All of this. All right, fair. There was no point in countering. Uh, by the way, they have plenty of mana with Nessa. Wow. Well done. Good game. I'll let them swing in uh, just because I know that they're going to enjoy it. Uh, well earned. That was really, really sweet. Uh, certainly wish we could have, could have gotten rid of that sooner, but, uh, we're, there, we're taking a million damage here, so. Uh, well done by the opponent. That was a very, very grindy game, but, uh, a really, really fun one. Unfortunately, no wins for this, uh, Elspeth, or, I say Elspeth, Esper Super Friends list. Uh, was a very, very fun one, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Not my favorite deck. Uh, again, I'm going to try and post an article on this one, so please do check out our website. Make sure to check out our Patreon as well. Again, it's the last day for picking up those proxies, so we do certainly encourage you to to, uh, to check that out. Uh, we do appreciate any and all support. Uh, please also check out our Instagram. We do have that link be down below as well. So thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next gameplay video.